Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing amazing and I also hope that you have had a great time with your loved ones, with your family members um, and spent your Diwali uh, in a great, great, great way. Um, and back to your um, work, back to your uh, normal life. So, uh, well, what do I talk about today? Um, I as I was actually, you know, trying to find out a topic for today, I just asked, I was like thinking and my son, he came to me and he said, what are you doing? I said, I am thinking of making a video and I'm not uh, actually in my uh, home. I am out of station and um, so he said, uh, why don't you talk about this topic? And he's the one who gave me this topic. And I said, okay, I think this is what I'm going to talk about. So the topic is how to stay calm during difficult and heated conversations. So the usual tendency that people adopt um, during heated conversations are a couple of these one is withdraw and kind of you know not get into the conversation at all number two is react based on what happened and an instant reaction comes up which is more like uh, you know as if the gun is loaded and you just get triggered and you boom shoot it out um, and the other reaction uh, response not reaction is this reaction is something which you do when um, something happens just like the chemical reaction you know you know you mix mix this and that and then something comes out responding is something a practice that if we practice it will save a lot of relationships it will give us peace of mind and it will give a newer perspective to the person who is in that stressful situation. So today I'm going to point out some of the ways which I have tried myself as to how you can be calm in a heated argumentative situation and take that to a more perspective oriented and fruitful conversation that would pave the way for uh, change and if not change at least a retrospection in the mind of that person involved and to do that yes it is a practice you have to do certain things um, if I look back at myself yeah um, being angry was a part of my um, being I can say that I used to get angry when things didn't happen my way I used to um, you know not like it and the, the best part I wouldn't say that to be the best part but um, how I used to hide it is you know withdrawing and not even showing that I am being affected by that and completely withdraw but that had a negative impact to it. The negative impact was that I felt disconnected with those people and with myself and slowly that became a norm of life and that disconnection started creeping in and I was not involved, engaged in uh, discussions where I felt that, okay, this is going to create some problems. So that wasn't helping me. Yes, it did protect me from the harm, it did protect me, but overall if I look at it it didn't have a great impact and then as I said the competition is always with ourselves we should always look back in our journey and see how far have we come the competition is never with anybody else but with our own self and how evolved we have if you find that yes you have evolved you've become better you've become the way you want it to be and things are happening uh, in your life uh, well and you're proud of it I think that's a good space to be so um, 
I'll share those instances um, in the form of tips. So number one thing is whenever you are in a conversation like this and you find yourself um, being triggered or somebody said something, how do you stay calm? Because if you react, it's not going to help you. If you um, add flame to that conversation, it will not take it to a good direction and it's going to cause you and the other person stress, including withdrawals as well. So number one is whenever you find uh, yourself in a situation like this, um, take a pause. However hard it might be, do not react. Take a pause. If you're and as an anchor, as a symptom to your mind, what you can do is you can absolutely lean back and keep breathing. Keep breathing and bring your focus to the breathing and be there. And remind yourself that it is not about you, but about the person who is reacting. Many times we take it personally. If a person said something, if a person did something, we take it personally and uh, literally give more importance to the feedback and uh, uh, kind of uh, be a part of it because then we become defensive. Lean back and keep breathing and remind yourself, at this moment, it is not about me. It's not about me. And then, second step, bring the focus absolutely on the person with whom you're having this conversation. And also tell yourself that this is not the natural behavior of the person. And even if it is, the person is in maybe stress or in a difficult scenario or something is happening in his or her world which we are not aware of and so the second step is to look with compassion to the person and listen listen without your stories listen without judgment listen without defense listen with absolute no pre-context but just listen to what the person has to say okay and then number three as you do this automatically what will happen is your there'll be a shift in you from being defensive from, from being protecting yourself you will move to a space of compassion and then from that space you will really then understand the person and that space that shift that you'll bring in will help the person automatically be in a zone where the person then slowly will start sharing. Well, you cannot do much of controlling the situation, the person and anything, but what you can do is the shift in your energy to being defensive, to being uh, taking it personally, to being um, making it uh, mean something about you, you can absolutely detach from those things and bring the focus to the person and just give him a committed listening and help him open. Because remember, anybody who reacts in a not so uh, proper way, remember that he or she is absolutely in pain and they are in need of um, our compassion and they are in need of uh, a lending ear. And um, and once you do that, you will automatically be guided to your third step. And remember, very often we are tempted to correct people when we know that um, that's not going to help. Because if a person is at a not a good frame of mind, he is stressed out. He or she is stressed out. He or she is not in a pleasant state of mind. No amount of you saying something is going to help them. At that instance, the best thing to do is listen. And when you listen intently, deeply, committedly, you will find 
the right questions to ask them but if you do not listen then you're going to ask questions which will provoke them further and take them to not open up to you but be more defensive so as i said the second step is very, very important give them committed listening and if they said no i don't want to talk and just be with them and let them simmer let them think and then you'll find what is the best question to ask if you really uh come with compassion and give a committed listening and the tip that i want to share is here that before you even correct someone a corrective feedback if you want to give them for their well-being i'm not saying that that behavior of theirs may be good uh, or bad but what i'm saying is they may need to correct certain things and you might be aware that okay by interacting you can feel that okay this is what is happening giving before you give a corrective feedback it is important to be appreciative of what the person truly is or who he or she is and remind yourself of all the positive things that the person has in him or her this will open the gateway to creating more intimate connection and in that space you'll be able to really then turn around the events not only for you but also for that person because that would be transformative that would be uh, effective for the person and his or her personal growth so how to say calm well it's a practice um you might be agitated from within during some instances a lot of things might be triggered in you and the person might say certain things to you which you might feel uh, offended about but remember reacting and uh, responding from a space of negativity is only going to breed negativity uh, breed more content uh, contempt rather than uh, pacifying the situation and to be able to do this you know, it's it's not about a weakness but it's a strength to be able to regain yourself is a strength and it comes only with practice just like the way you go to the gym to build muscles or to reduce or tone down whatever it takes practice this also takes practice and it never happens overnight and um so yeah i think um, those are the things if you do I'm sure you can ground yourself and um uh, come to a calmer state and from that space you can then decide what to do and um what not to do many times I've observed that when you do this most of the people they uh you know break down and they tick out and then you know there's a shift in their energy and then they say that okay they they also apologize for doing whatever they did because all they need is that empathetic space to understand and that is courage that is never a weakness well um that's it i have for today and i invite you to do this for yourself and try it out and let me know how it went to comment and let me know whether um it worked for you or it didn't work for you and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel um until next take care love you all bye bye